right along here on the main stage, and we want to take a look into the future and imagine the Internet of Things in the next 50 years. We have a great panel put together for you, and we also, before the panel, want to introduce you to our Impulse speaker. Please give it up for Joseph Brunner of Relayer. Thank you. So I'm not sure if I'm on the same energy level, but I, I give it a try. So um, hello, my name is Joseph. I'm with a company called Relayer. We are an industrial Internet of Things company. Started roughly three years ago, um, are backed by Kleiner Perkins. Um, now roughly 200 people, um, you know, primarily in the Western world, the US um, and Europe. And um, you know, we're big believers in strong technology. We're one of the few companies out there having the entire stack full stack provider for the Internet of Things from device management, gateways, middleware, dashboards, um, and prepackaged solutions that we offer to our clients. Um, and although we, we really, really like technology, we think that in the industrial world, it's more about the business outcome and being really able to understand the use cases of the companies and what they want to achieve when they want to uh, go digital. So. Um, what we found was that there's three major silos, if you will, of business outcomes. The first one is new revenue streams. So you're an industrial company, you have you know, hundreds of thousands or millions of assets in the field, elevators, cars, buildings, and you want to find a new way of monetizing assets that you're not uh, monetizing today. So if you are you know, an elevator company, how do you monetize the people in the elevator? Uh, if you're a car company, how can you sell additional services to your customers? Those kind of things are really, really important to our customers when they talk about new business models. The other thing that customers are really interested in is moving away from CAPEX business models to OPEX business models, and they need technology to enable these new business models. So this could be, you know, I sold factories in the past that cleaned water or that helped OEMs to treat aluminum. Now I want to um, have a subscription service like water cleaning as a service, um, aluminum treatment as a service. Those are the kinds of things that we engage with and help our customers you know, be successful with. The other thing is OPEX cost reduction. So that's a very uh, interesting thing about you know, a shop floor energy cost reduction. Uh, we do this, you know, as mentioned, the shop floor for buildings, but also at very large scales for cities. City of Paris, City of London run on our cloud. Uh, we just finished the worldwide largest smart city deployment in San Diego together with GE. And the third one is around uh, productivity gain. So you have an assembly line. You produce 7 million goods um, every, every day, every week. You want to produce 10 million goods. How do you get there? Um, that's something that we help our customers with. What's um, you know, very unique about us uh, is that we are able to guarantee those outcomes. So we guarantee the revenues that you're, go that you're expecting you will make. We are guaranteeing the savings you hope to make, and we're guaranteeing the uh, productivity gains you're expecting. We don't do this directly. Uh, we do this through one of our shareholders and one of our investors, which is Munich Re, uh, where we can actually you know, wrap an insurance policy around the promises that we're making and um, you know, our allow allowing our customers to basically have a risk-free approach uh, to digital transformation. And if this is something that you're interested in, then I would be more than welcome to you know, have a discussion with you after the panel and see how we can be successful together. So thank you very much.